Friday, welcome back. Turning now to your weekend forecast. Let's take a live picture this morning from King Street in Boone. Looking like a clear morning. You can't see the chili, yeah, but it's there. You know, everyone <laughs> is bundled up. That's actually, I love that you brought that up because that's one of the things about cold and hot is that mm -hmm. you can't see it. Right. It's not flashy. Sometimes it can hit you like a brick wall. Yeah. I feel like the cold this week certainly did that <laughs> yes. for many. But if you don't like it, uh -huh. It's pretty much ending after this morning. We actually have a warming trend underway and that's already <laughs> starting this morning. Now I know that you might think I'm crazy for saying a warming trend when it's still 34 degrees in Charlotte, but hear me out. It was 29 yesterday, so we're five degrees warmer. So we're on an upward trend. Live pictures here from App State's Convocation Center there, right on App State University's campus. And of course, a big day in Boone this afternoon as the uh, Mountaineers there take on Marshall. You can see temperatures in the lower 60s around tailgating game time and then we're quickly dropping off into the mid 40s by 8 9 o'clock while last week we were talking about the potential for record heat this forecast is a little bit closer to normal again highs in the 60s lots of sunshine a beautiful afternoon there up in Boone as some of that of course peak color is now past the peak but don't worry on your drive up you'll certainly be able to see it now, we don't love rain on a weekend, although we do need some due to the current drought situation. High pressure still keeping rain and storms up to our north and off the coastline. So if you do have plans to head to the beach this weekend, you actually might see some of those storm clouds off in the distance, but high pressure will keep that away from inland portions of the Carolinas. Again, so far this morning, we've only dropped to about 34. But we're talking upper 30s to lower 40s tomorrow morning. So again, about five degrees or so warmer. But I think it's the afternoon temperatures that will be even more notable. We're talking low to mid 70s both today and tomorrow. Only difference really between the two will be more clouds overnight tonight into Sunday, which will allow for those temperatures to be just a few degrees warmer. But again, we certainly do like that. So here's your afternoon and evening forecast. You can see there upper 30s, even a few lower 40s there across the mountains as we head toward tonight. Similar song and dance, upper 30s, lower 40s there for the foothills, around 38 degrees in Charlotte. Again, clouds acting like a blanket, keeping us a little bit warmer tonight and into Sunday morning. Good reminder though too, to uh, maybe stay in bed an extra hour or so as you will fall back and get that extra hour of sleep. And you certainly are going to need it with some of these chillier temperatures we've had as of late. In terms of the dry air, though, that's sticking around, really not changing over the next few days and even the next week or so. In fact, the static shock is going to be very shocking, if not in that ouch category over the next week, week and a half. As we stay dry, we stay quiet. Key and I were talking about this earlier this morning, but if you're one of us that really suffers with that dry skin this time of year, you're going to need the moisturizer extra, extra over the next week, week and a half. Our next big change comes as the warming trend continues as we enter the early part of this week. Monday, we're back in the mid 70s. How about the upper 70s to near 80 degrees by Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday? Next drop in temperatures comes late next week as we'll drop about 10 degrees between Thursday and Friday. Signs point to a few opportunities for rain, but right now it's relatively minimal.